Ghost Gunner. Okay, guys. So today, we're going to be getting into a very, very special video. A very awesome video. Um, something that I've been kind of picking at the teeth with for a while now. And it is the Old Rusty Project. We're going to go into a training. We're going to get around Mega City. And I'm going to tell you all about Old Rusty and the Old Rusty Project. So without further ado, I'm super excited for this, guys. Let's get into it. Okay, guys, we are in Mecca City, man. Okay, we're going to take you on a tour, and we're going to explain who Old Rusty is. Now, if you've been around Mecca City, you've noticed there are gigantic, and no, I'm sorry, titanic hot steel parts, and only hot steel parts, laying around the entire city. So, here's what I think happened, okay? I think uh, Mecca City, the inhabitants of Mecca City, um, they created these AI titans, okay, to protect the city and to protect Earth and whatever from foreign invaders. Well, the titans ended up becoming smart and turning on their creators. Okay, real quick guys, side note. This is my house. My, uh, my section eight. My uh, last house on the left in West Villa. This is my house, Gunner's house. Right here. It's got a little shitty car. And there's a whole bunch of tables, which I don't know why they're here. But if you're ever here, come hang out, join. Um, go in there and loot the hell out of it. Okay, so we are en route to the first site of um, uh, old, old Rusty. Okay, so getting back to my story here. Uh, these AI hot steels, all right, these Titan hot steels were created to protect Mecha City, uh, but they ended up actually becoming uh, self-aware they ended up turning on their creators and the inhabitants of Mecca City, which would mean, which would be the reason why nobody lives in Mecca City. Nobody actually lives in Mecca City. It's just a battle arena. Uh, that would, you know, that would be the perfect explanation to why this place is, as big as it is, so desolate. first location here. This is Old Rusty, ladies and gentlemen, the Titanic Hot Steel. All right, look at the size of his head, okay, compared to a regular Hot Steel, that head is bigger than the whole mech itself. It's taller. If that thing were to stand straight up, it's taller than the whole mech itself. Which means that this Titan is absolutely gigantic. It's probably bigger than this building right here. Because we're going to get into some other size comparisons. Which will be coming up on our second location. Which is right over here. Now, the reason why there's parts all over the city is because back in the war, they had to use... Uh, things like Arthur's and um, Hurricanes, like Rom used Arthur's and Vita used Hurricanes and stuff like that to cut, literally chop off the pieces, chop the Titans off piece by piece. You know what I mean? The, that's why to explain the Arthur's are so agile and so uh, maneuverable and he uses a Mully weapon and his slash lockdown so it's kind of like an EMP where it would force the hot steel to, to stop moving you know long enough to start cutting parts off of it uh, and the hurricanes explosion missile explosion obviously is gigantic it's, it's huge and it has a cluster missile explosion because you would have to do so much damage to something this large okay All right, we're gonna get into a 
few other locations, but right here I wanted to show you. Transform this. Leave that. Look at the size of this barrel. And look at the size of the deformed car. Literally, the deformed car could fit inside of this barrel. So that means the bullets are the size of deformed cars. Compare that to a hot steel. deformed car bullet coming at this neck would blow it to smithereens or multiple size size uh, bullets because he uses a shotgun so there's multiple bullets being fired so multiple bullets the size of a deformed car firing at you all at once isn't that crazy that's a crazy idea now getting into the hot steel or the old rusty project since now we discussed what old rusty is old rusty is an ai titan that turned on its creators and went completely berserk and decided to kill its uh you know the inhabitants of mecca city now there's just not one old rusty but multiple old rusties okay so get into the old rusty project Old Rusty Project would be a game mode, a, uh, a survival game mode, a weekly rotation survival game mode, where you would, uh, a squad, you as a squad, or solo, or just a bunch of people, would have to go deep into the storm, because that's where the old Rusties would be. Now, how would these old Rusties come together? How would these things be resurrected? Well, because of hacker intrusion, there is an Aurora inside Mecha City. And that with that Aurora, started turning on the parts, you know, or um, re-sparking the parts of the hot steels, especially the, the heads, and they started to come back together see how the story fits how did these titans end up coming back because of hacker intrusion the electrical storm and that gives you the cogs started waking up the ai okay now during the survival game mode okay these titans would be in the storm walking around or circling uh mecca, mecca city firing at anybody in the storm and the thing is they're not you know 100 meters in the storm they're not 200 meters in the storm they are deep in the storm okay you have to use your team strategically to go into the storm to destroy these three titanic old rusty hot steels now what do you get out of it okay you would get a huge reward. One of the Titans would give you an abundance of gold. One of the Titans would give you an abundance of crystals, like a hundred crystals, right? Uh, maybe one of the Titans would give you like a thousand gold, okay? Um, and the other one of the Titans would give you, uh, I don't know, uh, maybe um, uh, a crystal shards shards so you can save up your crystal shards uh so you can get your battle uh your uh your flash passes and stuff like that and try to earn ss skins now you would be like wow that's a really cool cool idea you know those are really cool prizes but the gameplay would be so hard because obviously the titans are big massive clunky they make the earth shake Around and they have an unparalleled amount of health, an unparalleled amount of firepower and damage. Okay, not to mention, here's the kicker: not to mention, you have to be in the storm, and you're gonna have to go up against other players in the game as well, who are also trying to kill you, because you have to get resources, especially health, to stay in the storm. So you would have to 
have squad up and have somebody coming back and forth within and out of the storm trying to collect resources or kill players in the, the storm to take their resources and stay alive to destroy one of these titans okay definitely a team effort here okay definitely a team effort and the amount of damage that you would have to do would be unparalleled uh to these to these titans um you know it would it would you would have to use you know arthurs and hot steels and everything just and really put your survival skills to the test uh to you know come out on top and hopefully get those really awesome rewards okay because that's a lot of reward right there like a hundred quest or a hundred crystals or a thousand gold or uh maybe a hundred um a hundred uh crystal shards that would that's worth it i mean you're closer to an ss skin you know what i mean or 200 uh uh shards you know what i mean crystal shards you know get those flash passes to ex out your stuff you know you would have to really earn this and this is the premise of the whole old rusty project okay is to create a survival mode bring back this titan okay hot steel for uh a one an ai titan for one badass game mode now there's one last thing i wanted to show you for the titan itself and this is this cannon this cannon is the biggest cannon i have found while looking for uh, old rusty parts i've circled this map a bunch of times trying to find you know old rusty parts and everything and you know they're all over the place but this one is the biggest cannon i have found thus far okay uh, compare this to a hot steel that's ridiculous the cannon barrel is longer than the hot steel and wider look look at that it kept the size of a deformed car coming out of this I mean it, it the hot steel look at the hot steels cannon this is a hot steels cannon look at that hot steels cannon this hot steels cannon that hot steel cannon 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 micro mega <laughs> you know and i think only the the true crazy brave would be able to take this thing on so now i've talked to netnies about this and they love the idea um they, uh, I've submitted it to them, but I would like to get the community behind this. So guys, if you could please support this and uh, pass it along and be all about the old Rusty project. Uh, start talking about it in the chat, start bringing it into Facebook, start you know taking pictures, taking screenshots and posting it on the Facebook forum. When you find an old Rusty part, you know, and uh, take a selfie with an old Rusty part, you know to say hey old rusty part you know what i mean and get this kind of game mode mo uh, going if uh have anything you guys would like uh just post it in the comments um anything you'd like to add anything like that what do you guys think what do you guys think about the whole mode in general um i think it'd be really awesome um and i really think you guys would thoroughly enjoy this kind of mode so please support it um like I said, NetEase likes the idea, but I really want to get the community behind it. This way it becomes a solid fact. This way it becomes a solid uh, part of the game. Okay, so that's it for the old Rusty project. There's one more thing in Mecha City I wanted to show you before we go. And I've posted this on the discords before, but I think I'm gonna show you now since I'm able to run around Mecha City. See this house? Fuck this house. Okay, this is the true Mecca City Amityville Horror House or Mecca City's 
haunted house. And I'm going to get into this too. If you've ever been to Amityville, New York and Long Island and seen the Amityville Horror House, you also know that right down the block from there is a convenience store. So it's just convenient how right next to the goddamn horror house is a convenience store. I just found that weird. Okay. So why is this the horror house? Why, what makes this thing so haunted or, or horrific or uh, spooky or crazy? In this house, is a, it's, it's, it's a maze, first of all. Second of all, the stairs are very tight and narrow. And third, you can get lost very easy in this house. Four, you can't jump out the windows. You can't hop out the windows. That's, that's another thing. Another thing that makes this house all twisted up and the, heart, the, the haunted horror house is that box in this house tend to disappear or they're not there at all. Meaning that you'll see the footsteps that they're around, but there's no bot. I once saw a bot go from, I ran up the stairs and I saw a bot go from right here and pass through this wall. He was a, a white ROM with a sniper rifle and he was pointing it in this direction and he ran from that window through this wall right there. Okay, spooky shit. I've seen bots uh, go through walls here. I've seen them uh, just not there. I've seen them fall through the floor. I've seen them, like I said, the footsteps are there, but there's no bot. Um, and it's very difficult to get out of this house. Uh, not to mention, one time I was in this house, and I think I was in the back right here on the bottom, and I fell through to the void of madness. Now, if you don't know what the void of madness is, it's the void of Mecca City where you go into the water and the little ponds and you fall through the map and you get stuck under the map. And that happened behind this wall. I fell through into the void and I couldn't get out. I had to literally crawl all my way out to the water here and come out right there. Okay. And I had to spawn a, uh, um, a skateboard and it allowed me to hop out of the water. Okay. But yeah, this house is, uh, Mecca city's own horror house. So if you're ever in Mecca city at nighttime and you want yourself a good scare and a good frustration, come to this place. Do it at night though, because it's definitely a lot more spooky. So right here, Mecca City's Horror House. All right, guys. Well, again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please support the old Rusty Project. Please comment down below if you support it. Uh, please take selfies and post it up on the uh, the Facebook page and in the discords of you guys with the uh, old Rusty parts if you're supporting it. And, uh, yeah, uh, I really want to get the community behind this. And the more I get the community behind this, the more, uh, NetEase will take it serious and the developers of SMC will take it serious. Um, they are, they, they, they like the idea, but I think they need a little bit more of convincing. So, all right, guys, uh, that's it. Thank you very much for tuning in and I hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. And as always, this is Gunner signing out.